Well, morning everyone. Slightly chilly morning down here in uh, Cornwall. We're at Porthcurno. Sunrise is over there and uh, got a very nice little shot set up. Um, how I came to this shot was did a little bit of location searching yesterday, uh, check the tides, check the time at the sunrise point. And I know April sunrise is going to pop over the top of those cliffs. The weather forecast was for clear uh, cloud. There's a lot of cloud up there. I don't know if you can see at the back of the shot there, but when I show you the view over there that I found, you'll certainly see a, a bank of cloud. But there is a gap on the horizon, so I'm very hopeful that we'll get the sun popping through and casting some light, uh, backlighting the scene. I'm shooting into the light. Not always a common way of doing it, but I like to do it because I find that you can shoot into the light, you get a really striking contrast between the, the, the backlit rocks, foreground, whatever it might be at your feet, and um, possibly, hopefully, a blazing sky behind shoot with the sun over your shoulder looking forward so everything's front lit and um, it can be a lot more flat and less interesting so this is more challenging it does require some photoshop work in terms of getting an exposure for the sky taking an exposure then a second shot uh, for the foreground and blending the two together or you can use some filters I use Lee neutral density filters um, perfectly good um, but of course with the filters sometimes when the light goes in through the filter hits the front of the lens element bounces back and then back in again you get more flare so I try and avoid the filters when I'm shooting directly into the Sun um, unless it's going to be filtered by some cloud uh, which is more than likely this morning so let me show you the view out to sea So here's the, uh, the viewpoint I found, um, there's Logan Rock there out in the distance and in the foreground is the uh, one of the beaches here at Porth Kono. Um, because of the angle of the sun and the angle of the way this beach sweeps away quite dramatically to the south, there's a lot of sea on the right hand side so I'm going to fill that in with these rocks here on the right. Uh, they're lovely moss encrusted boulders so I think they'll have a nice texture, there's plenty of yellow gorse around. So all we really need now is a little bit of light just to make those lovely golden sands and the blue sea really sparkle and uh, hopefully we'll be in business. So let's see how we get on. So uh, there's a few uh, just as the sun's just going to pop into the uh, cloud at the top. I've just finished shooting and um, just wanted to give you an idea that one of the final compositions I settled on. Um, because this is a video I've got it in landscape format um, but in the portrait format there's a little bit more foreground just at the bottom there where the gorse is, um, otherwise it's just a little bit um, little bit cut off. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of a gap at the bottom where the sand is and I just kept that in. Um, but by and large, um, I tweaked the, the landscape format and um, I got that, that, uh, the, the shot you see now as well. So I worked both the angles. But now the sun's going up into that, that bank of cloud that we saw on the horizon pre-dawn. Um, the, the lovely light's kind of gone uh, and the back lighting effect has, has, uh, has faded. So. I'm going to uh, go down to the beach at Porth Kono and see if there's any anything to be had there. The tide's going out, the waves are looking uh, nice as they're crashing in against the rocks. So there's possibility of some more photo action before the morning's over.